Since they couldn't beat you, they'll try to join you. And once they realize they can't join you, that's when they will try to destroy you. They envy you. Because it's in you, chosen ones. And the devil big mad right now. Because there is nothing he can do to take it from you. Let me tell you something. All these people that was in secret competition with you. All these people, amen, that were trying to steal your identity before you even knew who you were. All these people that was, in, that was competing with you in everything. You know who I'm talking about. They finally realized that they can't beat you. They finally realized no matter how hard they try, that guess what? This brother, this chosen sister just cannot be beat. They just cannot be stopped. Don't forget you was outnumbered and you still won. Don't forget that you are undefeated to this day. And once people realize that they just can't beat you, come on, talk to me. They will try to join you. They will try to team up with you because you know why? They want to get blessed like you. Come on, who I'm talking to. They want that favor like you. Come on and talk to me. They want to get to the next level like you. They want to be you so bad. So they figure, hey, since I can't beat this brother, since I can't beat this sister, let me join them. Come on, who I'm talking to. Because they see you out here doing your thing. They see that you are in a movement all by yourself and you and God are a force when you guys are together. Understand what I'm getting ready to say. And once, amen, they realize that they can't join you, once they see that you ain't really fucking with them like that, guess what they're going to try to do? They will really try to destroy you. They will really discourage you. I'm talking about, man, you got people, they will really throw their insecurities on you because guess what? They are insecure of themselves. Come on, who I'm talking to. And when I mean to tell you, they'll try to destroy you. They'll try to destroy you with their words. They will try to destroy you, amen, with their insecurities. They will try to discourage you, but they fail to realize that the more they discourage you, the more you're going to feel encouraged when you leave their presence. I understand what I'm getting ready to say. And that's why I keep trying to tell you, children, you got to pay attention to how you feel when you leave people's presence. And you wonder why you got a long drive home. It's a long night drive home. You wonder why, amen, when you get home, guess what? You got to take a spiritual bath. You got to you gotta get in your prayer closet, amen. You got to really ask God to just, amen, just to renew your mind all over again. Because let me tell you something, man. Jealousy and envy is a, a contagious, deadly disease. Envy is deadly. And you got to realize, man, a lot of people are envious of you. A lot of people, guess what? They really jealous of you. A lot of people really want your life. A lot of people really wish they had your anointing. But let me tell you something. No weapon that is formed against you shall be able to prosper. You got to realize who you belong to, chosen ones. You got to realize that guess what? It's the God in you. And this is why people can't beat you. You got to realize that guess what? That God put a certain kind of chip in you. And people big mad because God didn't put a certain kind of chip in them. You got, you got to realize, children, a lot of people are just not you. A lot of people can't go with you. A lot of people can't beat you. And a lot of people just can't destroy you. And once they realize that, I promise you, man, they will envy you for the rest of your life. They're going to hate on you. It don't matter what you do for people. It don't matter how much love you show people. Uh, understand what I'm saying? It don't matter how, how many times you done been there for people. When people see, amen, the favor of God over your life, when they see you out here winning, when they see you out here getting to this money, I promise you, people will really start to envy you. At least when somebody jealous of you, guess what? You'll know. When somebody hates you, you'll know right offhand. But when somebody is envious of you, guess what? You'll never know. Until that true color starting to come out. Until them demonic spirits starting to come out. And this is why I keep trying to tell you, children, you got to be sober-minded. You got to stay vigilant. You got to always be abiding in the work of God. Because you got to realize, man, people carry on certain spirits. And this will make them envious of you. People carry on insecure spirits on them. People be carrying on jealous spirits on them. People be carrying demonic spirits on them. And this is what makes them envious of you. We are not wrestling against flesh and blood. This is a spiritual warfare battle. And the devil will jump inside of anybody to destroy you. 
I understand what I'm getting ready to say. And what I'm going to tell you, this is how you know when people are envious of you. You can feel that energy on you. Come on and talk to me. It feels like a contagious disease. It feels like, hey man, people really want to kill you and, and really just end your life because they already know that they can't have your life. They know, hey man, that they can't, they can't be a part of your life. So guess what? When people start realizing that, that's when they really will start to envy you. Do you realize who you are? Do you realize what you carry? Do you realize that you are just destined for greatness? Understand what I'm getting ready to say, and you wonder why. Guess what? It's a long night drive home. It's a long drive home at nighttime. Hey, man, you're not even feeling like yourself anymore because guess what? You hanging around somebody who's envious of you. You hanging around some people. Hey, man, guess what? They mad at you because they failed at destroying you. You hanging around these different spirits, and these spirits going to jump at you. Let me tell you what's going on. When I'm going to tell you, man, I, I'm going to keep it 100 with you. I went back just to see how certain people, go, you know what I'm saying, if they change, if they move in different, amen, if their mind is on a different level. Let me tell you something, man, people ain't change. I don't know who this message is for, but let me tell you something. If you go back, you're going to realize that guess what? People will never change because guess what? They don't got it in them like you. They don't got that confidence in, in them like you. They don't got that anointing in them like you. They don't got no gift on the inside of them like you. God gave you a gift. God gave you the anointing so that it can destroy the yokes that is around you. You don't even know why you hang around people that's, you know, envious of you and jealous of you. You don't even know that your anointing, your Holy Spirit, guess what? It really destroys all those demonic spirits that's coming at you. You don't even know them. Certain things people want to say to you, guess what? They can't say it because that Holy Spirit is on you. I'm talking about, man, you hanging around certain people, they want to fight you. They want to start confusion with you. They want to start throwing their insecurities on you, talking about you, you should have been this and you should have been that. But no, in all actuality, I am that. I'm all, I'm all that and more. You got to be very, very surprised of the same people that can't beat you. And once they realize they can't beat you, they're going to try to throw all their insecurities on you. <laughs> The same people, amen, that's trying to join you And they know they can't join you now And they know you ain't really fucking with them like that They go through all their insecurities on you I'm trying to tell you what's going on Come on, talk to me Same people, amen, that's throwing all their insecurities on you Guess what's going to happen Once they throw all their insecurities on you Guess what, the devil's waiting for your response But you gotta stay humble You gotta stay moving You gotta stay vigilant Come on, who I'm talking to? You got to stay sober-minded so you know when them devils coming. You know when them spirits coming at you. Let me tell you something, man. This is why people envy you because of the spirit that they carry on them. People operating in demonic spirits every single day. Then on top of that, guess what? They got the nerve to be drinking along with a jealous spirit they already got. Not only are they drinking, but guess what? They doing other things that's going to destroy them, destroy their bodies, destroy their temple. You don't belong in these people's lives. You got to really move yourself out of these people's lives because let me tell you something, God got big plans for you. And you can make up, you can mess up God's big plans for you by hanging around with the wrong crowd, hanging out with the wrong people, hanging out with people who is envious of you. Envy is deadly. When somebody envies of you, I promise you, man, they will really kill you out here. And they won't even have no remorse of it. They won't even feel sorry of the fact that they did it. And so you got to realize, children, that guess what, baby? God gave it to you. And this is why God chose you. This is why God isolated you. Because guess what, baby? You can do battle by yourself. You can do this by yourself. You don't need nobody to join you. You don't need nobody, amen, to team up with you. Come on. That's why you are the chosen one, baby. And a lot of people, guess what? They looking back over their lives and they're looking back over your life and they're trying to see man how did you do this how did you really overcome the obstacles that were set before you how did you become the next big thing when i told you that you wasn't gonna be the next thing before how did you overcome how did you beat all these different people that was coming against you how did you win after all the odds were against you this is how people are looking at you right now they are so shocked right now that you are still standing a lot of people are so shocked right now that you are still winning a lot of people are so shocked that you are still pressing towards the mark. You different. You change. You humble now. I'm getting ready to say you come in peace. You so vigilant right now. 
Well, let me tell you, man, you always sober minded, man, because let me tell you something, you and your calling, you and your purpose, amen, you reaching newer heights, glory be to God, your mind is getting to that next level, and the people that's come around you, guess what, they're going to carry on certain spirits on them, glory be to God, they're going to be uh, 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 operating in demonic spirits, and when I'm going to tell you, them spirits going to come out, out you foul out of nowhere, I promise you, I just experienced this shit last night, you think I'm lying? And I told myself, man, this is why I didn't want to come back in the first place. Because let me tell you something, motherfuckers are still the same. They know who they are. Motherfuckers' true colors going to come out the minute they start drinking. Come on, who I'm talking to? People going to start showing you how they feel about you the minute God elevates you and raise you to the next level. You got to really stay out the way. And I should have never did it, but I said, you know what? This is my family, man. I'm going to go holler at my family real quick. I'm going to see if they even changed a little bit. Coming to find out people ain't changed. Coming to find out people doing the same thing. Coming to find out, guess what? People are still insecure. Guess what? They're going to throw all their insecurities on you because guess what, baby? You are the next big thing. Because guess what? You are that and more, baby. And people going to try to tell you, hey, you should have been this. You should have been that. You could have went to the league. No, that wasn't God's plans for me. God didn't want me to go to the NBA. But God had a bigger and better plan for me. And they can't, they can't even believe, hey amen, what God is doing for you. They can't even, they can't even, I'm trying to tell you, man, they can't even take it in on what God is doing for you, man. They blessed you. God is blessing you. And this uh, another thing, how you know when people envy, envy you is when you go into their presence, they won't even give you a compliment. You go into their presence, hey amen, you shake their hand, their handshake ain't real. You don't feel no genuine energy from their handshake. Their handshake is fake. Come on, who I'm talking to? You going around people, guess what? They trying to see, hey man, hey man, how you going, you know what I'm saying? How you going to respond to them? How you going to act towards them? Let me tell you something, man. I'm still the same. I'm just a little bit more loving. I'm still the same. I'm just a little bit more prayerful. I'm still the same. I'm just a little bit more knowledgeable. I already know who you are. I know what you're about. I already know how you act. I already know where you're getting ready to go with this, but you will not destroy me. You will not stop me. You will not discourage me. You'll be surprised at how many people will really try to destroy you because they can't join you. You'll be surprised how many people will, amen, will try to join you because guess what? They couldn't beat you. And once they realize that you did it by yourself, you lit your wounds with no help, people will be mad at that. They will be so envious of that. But you got to realize, man, you didn't do this by yourself. God had your back. God was the one that planted your feet on higher ground. God was the one that prepared a table in the presence of your enemies. So let me tell you what's going to happen. When an enemy come in like a flood, God going to lift up a standard every time. Because you know why? God knows, amen, that you standing for what's right. God know that you're walking in your calling. God know that you in your purpose. God know that you mean well toward these people. God know that you, you try to help people. You try to save everybody. But I'm coming to tell you right now, you just can't save everybody. You cannot help everybody. Because enough uh, people need enough help, amen. And just as, so they can get up in the, in, the, in the sky, get, so they can elevate, spread their wings and fly, and they can just shit on you just like a freaking uh, just like a freaking bird. You know what I'm talking about? Just like a seagull. You can't save everybody, and you can't help everybody. Cause some people, some people need enough help to stab you in your back. See, people will come into your life portrayed as your best friend, portrayed, hey man, like they your homie. Don't you know me? They will portray like they the homegirl from around the world. But let me tell you something, man. They will betray you. Don't get it twisted. It's always gonna be that that fake energy, that fake smile when you first come into people's presence. Hey, how you been? How you doing? It's always gonna be that. But that real energy is all about how you feel when you leave people's presence. This is why you got a long night drive home. This is why, hey man, you can't even think straight because you like, damn, my own cousin, my own family, my own sister, my own brother hate me, envious of me because I'm out here doing it. Damn. I ain't never really believed this because I was never really on this kind of level before. I was always working at fast food restaurants. I was always, hey man, you know what I'm saying, living middle class. Ain't nothing wrong with living middle class. But the minute God elevate me to first class treatment, the minute God elevate me to a totally different uh, 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 spiritual realm, when I'm highly ranked in the spiritual realm, when I'm highly ranked, amen, out here in, 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 in the spiritual realm, guess what happens? You begin to feel all kind of different spirits on people. And you wonder why, hey amen, everybody can't go with you because everybody is not equipped with what you equipped it with. 
You guys' value systems do not match. I'm talking, man, you so respectful, they disrespectful. I'm talking, man, they are blatantly disrespectful and you think they can go with you to this next level. I'm talking about, you got people that are just downright dirty, disrespectful. They don't give a damn. They'll cross you and they'll cross you again. They are being in secret competition with you before. And the minute you help them, the minute you allow them to join forces with you, I promise you, guess what's going to happen? They're going to betray you again. They're going to try to be in secret competition with you again. Now they're going to start thinking you they doing better than you. Now they're going to start thinking, hey, man, they guess what? They made it without you. This is what happens when you try to help people. This is what happens when you allow people to join you. And now guess what? You're making more room to the devil to come in and destroy everything you and God are putting together. But once they realize that they can't join you, once they realize you ain't fucking with them, once they realize that guess what? That you on a totally new league, you on a totally new level, that's when they will try to destroy you. I promise you. And they'll just try to destroy you with their words, with their insecurities. Come on, who I'm talking to. They'll try to destroy you, amen, by trying to pull you down to where they at. Because that's how the devil works. You got to realize that the devil, he come to kill, steal, and destroy. But God come that you might have life and that you might have it more abundantly in the mighty master's name of Jesus. Oh, that devil big mad. Why you big lad? That devil big mad right now. And you got to realize, guess what? You sober minded. You vigilant right now. You always abiding in the work of God. So now guess what? Your intuition is so sharper than any two-edged sword. I promise you. Your intuition is stronger. Your discernment is stronger. Everything is so much stronger, amen. Because guess who guess who made it stronger? God made it stronger. So you can you can see these gra these snakes in the grass. God said, keep your grass low so you can see these snakes. Let me tell you something, man. When I went around my family last night, let me tell you something. I was just so humble. I was just so peaceful. And guess what? People's true colors starting to come out. Come on, talk to me. That's why you got to speak kind words. That's why you got to be harmless as a dove, but wise as a serpent. Because you got to realize in the book of Proverbs, it says, guess what it says? It said, when you speak words of anger, it stirs up wrath. But when you speak kind words, a soft, uh, 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 yeah, when you, when you speak kind words and, and you, when you speak softly and you speak, you know what I'm saying, pleasantly and genuinely towards people, guess what it's going to do? Guess what it's going to do? It's going to allow the devil to flee from you. That's why the Bible says, resist the devil and he will flee from you. But the minute, amen, you, you stood down to the enemy's level. You know what I'm talking about? The minute you going toe to toe with the enemy, glory be to God. The minute, hey man, this person is drunk and you drunk, oh yeah, you in a room for a hell of awakening. And that's why the Bible says to be sober minded. Because that's exactly how the devil gonna get you, hey man, when you're not in your right mind. And you calling yourself hanging out with people. You calling yourself drinking with people. You calling yourself, hey man, just being around, just to be around. Because guess what? These family, these friends, man, these people envy you, man. It don't matter what you do for people. It don't matter how many shirts you give off your back to people. When people are envy, when people envious of you, there is nothing you can do to make these people unenvious of you. You got to keep on going. You got to keep on pressing. You cannot go back. God told me this last night. Do not go back. Because brother, you still acting the same way after 10 plus years. You still the same. you will be surprised. And people are in this kind of situation is because guess what? They really try to beat you. They really try to defeat you. And they fail to realize the Bible says, touch not my anointed one, do my prophet no harm. And they still went against you and lost. They mistreated you. They mishandled you. They turned their back on you. So guess what God did? He turned his back on them when they needed God the most. When people showed you how they felt about you, God said, okay. God said, don't worry about it. God said, God said to the chosen ones, I know you had a good heart. Don't even trip. I'm getting ready to reverse the script real quick. I'm getting ready to turn the tables. Ain't it funny how them tables turned? Ain't it funny how them tables turned real quick? 
The people, hey man, that did you wrong. The people that didn't want to help you when they had the resources to help you. The, the people that didn't want to give you a room when they had three or four or five bedrooms in the house. Guess what? Ain't it funny how God flipped that script real quick and now guess what? You living in your mansion and guess what? They out here in the streets. Come on, talk to me. You got a roof over your head now and guess what? They trying to find a roof over their head. And all they had to do was treat you right. All they had to do, amen, was just to help you get to the next level. But no, people are envious of you. That's when you know people that don't really like you like that. It's when they don't even want to help you. It's when they don't want to push you. It's when people don't even want to pray for you. Glory be to God. It's when people don't want to just, they don't want to just acknowledge the fact that, guess what? You got potential. They don't even want to acknowledge the fact that, guess what? You are destined for greatness. They don't even want to acknowledge the fact that you out here shining bright like a diamond while you was going through the struggle. And this is why I keep trying to tell you, chosen ones, it's going to be a long drive home if you ever go back. It was a long drive home for me, and guess what? I don't even stay that far. But it felt like a two-hour drive because you know why? All of them demonic spirits on me. That devil really tried to discourage me last night, but I kept rebuking them spirits. I kept on responding with positivity. I kept on, hey amen, I kept on uh, 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 staying prayed up in my spirit. Sometimes you can't pray out loud. You got to pray up in your spirit. Sometimes you can't rebuke the devil out loud. You got to rebuke the devil in your spirit. And tell that devil he's a liar and the truth ain't in you. So don't come at to me talking about, oh, you should have been in the NBA. You should have been doing this. Oh, you should have been in league right now. Oh, you should have been pulling up in this right now, but you already know what I'm pulling up in. Come on, let me tell you how that devil work. But you ain't going to get the best of me because I'm on my way towards victory. Don't you be afraid to put in and say, devil, you ain't going to get the best of me because I'm on my way towards victory. And it's not the people that we are going up against. It's not the people that are envious. It's the spirits that work on the inside of people, man, that's going against you. This is what makes people envious of you. It's the spirits that they carry on them. I'm mean, going to tell you, that devil don't give a damn who you are. That devil don't care, amen, how great you are. That devil don't give a damn how good you do in life. That devil don't care. His job is to come to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But God come that you might have life and that you might have it more abundantly. And people mad because you know why? God gave you life. He gave you a new life. And he gave it to you more abundantly. Every time they curse you, God bless you. Every time they turn around, the Lord just keep on blessing you. Every time they turn around, the Lord just keep on elevating you. Every time they turn around, guess what? The Lord just keep on making you looking so good and bright. And he just keep on making you over in, in his likeness, in his image. And you wonder why you don't even look like what you've been through. But when you go around the people from your past, your so-called friends, your so-called family, the minute you go back, guess what? They look like every bit of what they're going through right now. They get ready to take all their problems out on you. I'm trying to tell you how this works. And it's funny because this is how you know it's spirits that work inside of people. Let me tell you something. This is how you know it's spirits. Because guess what? When my family's sober, when my so-called friends are sober, guess what? They don't even act like that. But the minute they have them a couple of drinks, the truth comes out. That's why you got to stay. You got to stay vigilant. You got to stay sober minded. Come on, who I'm talking to? Because the devil, he want to catch you off guard. He want to, uh, the devil, he want to play tricks with your mind. Guess what? The devil, once he, he know he got your mind, that's when he got you. But let this mind be in Christ Jesus. Let this heart be renewed in the name of Jesus. Let your spirit be renewed. You got to keep your spirit renewed. Your heart re renewed. You got to keep your mind stayed on Jesus. And there's going to be a lot of people, I'm trying to tell you, man. A lot of people that was in a secret competition with you. Guess what? They're going to really realize that they just can't beat you. So why would I allow you to join me if I already knew that you was in secret competition with me? And that's where we mess up, man, by trying to save everybody. We try to help everybody. We try to push everybody to the next level. But guess what? People so worry about you. They jealous of you. They envious of your light. They envious of your anointing. They envious of your blessings. They envious of everything about you because guess what? They want your life.
And here it is, you still trying to encourage people. You still trying to motivate people. You still over here trying to inspire people. You still want the best for people. You be there for people, amen, through thick and thin. But when shit hit the fan, they not gonna be there for you because guess what, they jealous of you. They know you can make it, make it from rock bottom by yourself. They know you can bounce back with no help. They know that as long as you got King Jesus, you don't need nobody else. So this is one of the real reasons why people, amen, decide not to help you. Because they know you got potential. And you wonder why you feeling how you feeling the minute you leave these people present. This is why you can't stay around certain people for too long. You gotta move with caution. You gotta really stay vigilant. When God tell you to move, you got to get up out of there. Because these spirits are real. And if you ain't careful, and if you ain't prayerful, let me tell you something, man. These spirits will jump on you. Do you realize, man, they envy you because you are destined for greatness? Do you realize they envy you because they, they want to be you so bad and they realize, guess what, they can't be you? They realize they can't beat you? Do you realize they envious of you because you know why? They not anointed like you? And you got to realize since people can't join you, they see you ain't fucking with them. They see you out here doing it on your own. Guess what they going to do? They going to really try to destroy you. They'll do anything in their power to take you up out of here and they won't even feel sorry about it. Because of the envious, the envious spirits that they got on the inside of them, the envy they got in their heart. People got envy in their heart, man. No matter what you do for people, no matter how much you love people, no matter how much you, you know, you be there for people, I promise you, man, when somebody is envious of you, you gotta lead them where they at. Have you ever been to the point where you knew that somebody was envious of you? Like, wait a minute. Let me just stay far away from this person because I already know this person really don't fuck with me like that. I'm talking about, man, you can really feel that envious spirit on them. I don't even know how to explain it. When somebody is jealous of you and they hate you and they really want to destroy you, you can feel it on them so bad. They be wanting to fight you, lash out at you, throw all their insecurities on you, tell you what you ain't able to, to, to do, what you not, what you did, what you did in the past. They will even bring up your past, man. They bring it up your past because they can't even believe what God is doing in your future. And I mean, tell you, man, this is my own flesh and blood cousin start acting weird like that. I'm like, oh, okay, you still act the same. You still carrying on this weird hate ass energy. And you know, I'm going to call it how I see it. I don't give a damn how you feel about it. I don't give a damn how they feel about it. Same with my auntie. I love they ass to death. But let me tell you something. They can't, just can't go to where God is taking me, man. I don't give a damn. So you got to realize one thing, one thing only. I'm trying to tell you. People are watching you. People are gang stalking you. People are really, I'm trying to tell you, man, people are really plotting and planning against you, but it will not work because you belong to the most high God. Now they look at you now and guess what? They see you ain't doing the things that they doing. They see, hey, amen, you ain't pissy drunk like them. Glory be to God. They see, hey, amen, that your mind is stayed on Jesus. They see you out here getting to this money. They see you out here blessing people. I'm talking about, man, I'm blessing people. I'm not even tripping. I'm talking about if you need something, I'm going to buy it for you. If you stranded, I'm going to come get you. But it don't matter what you do for people. People will still envy you because guess what? They not like you. They will envy you because guess what? They can't get these blessings like you. They will envy you because you know why? God chose you. What part you don't understand. And I'm saying, you know what, man? I said this last night. I said, it don't even matter what the hell I do. It don't matter how hard I try to push people. It don't matter how hard I try to save people, try to be there for people. They still going to be jealous of me, man. No matter. And I always feel that weird ass energy when I fucking leave. 
It's not about when I first arrive or when I first get there. Sometimes I feel it too when I first arrive. I'm talking about, man, when you looking good, smelling good, driving good, eating good, the money is good, your spirit is good, everything is good. And, and, and the simple fact that God been better than good to you, oh, you best believe they're getting ready to envy you. They're going to envy you for sure. I'm telling you, man. And that's when you know they envy you. They don't give you a compliment. They see you got a haircut the whole time. They see you got your hair done the whole time. And guess what? They This is how you know they envy They want to give you a compliment at the last minute. They want to give you a compliment toward the end of the night. Nigga, you see my haircut when I first arrived. Your homegirl seen your hair done the minute you first pulled up. But they ain't said nothing because guess what? They envious of you, man. But when they get a haircut, when they get their hair done, guess what? We give people compliments the minute we first lay eyes on them, man. Because we ain't got a jealous bone in our body. That's how real you are. You don't even got a hatred, a hatred bone in your body. You ain't even got an envy, uh, envy spirit. You ain't got envy in your heart. Well, let me tell you, you really are real as they come. Well, let me tell you, just like Jesus, you love everybody. You, you love to help everybody. You pray for everybody. You push everybody. You heal everybody. People don't even know it. But I mean, tell you, man, we really got healing supernatural powers. When I mean to tell you, man, our presence, I promise you, our presence makes people better. This is why they envies of you because of the other way people love you. That's another reason why people envies of you, man. I'm trying to tell you. And you got to realize, man, the minute you walk into people's lives, the minute people shake your hand, glory be to God, the minute people hug you and be around you, that's when people start getting blessed. I'm talking about, man, just by you showing up, people going through a situation, just by you showing up, I promise you, they situation going to work out because guess what? You right there. And they know this shit. But the minute you lead their life, hey, man, guess what? They life going all the way back down the drain. They ain't got no more energy they can pull on. They ain't got no more people they can discourage. You got to realize, man, people get power from that. They feel they thrive off of pulling you down. They thrive off of seeing you fail. They thrive off of you out here going through the struggle. Oh, they get a boost off of that. It motivates them to see you do, do bad. But it should be the opposite. Why they don't motivate people to see you do good? Because they envious of you. Why people don't ever tell you, hey, man, I see you doing your thing. I'm proud of you. Because they envious of you. Why people don't say, hey, man, I want nothing but the best for you, man. How can I get like you? Because these are the same people that's trying to beat you. Come on and talk to me. These are the same people, hey, man, that team up to outnumber you. And guess what? You beat all these people by yourself because guess what? You are chosen, baby. So don't you ever forget, chosen ones. If they can't beat you, they will try to join you. Trust me. And if they can't join you, guess what? They will really try to destroy you, discourage you, throw their insecurities on you. That's just straight facts. Because they know they can't go with you to the next level. They know that, guess what? They fucked up their whole life. And they see you bounce back from your fucked up life in the past. This is what makes you different from people. This will make you way more stronger than people. So if people really try to try you, try to fight you, whatever case it may be, they better be very careful. Trust me. Because let me tell you something about the chosen ones. If you the chosen one and you made it back from rock bottom, I'm talking about, man, you done been through all kind of hell. Those are people you do not want to fight. I promise you. The people that really got their life back together, you think people are going to just let you just do anything to them and try to come up? come foul against them at any given time at any will the devil is a liar well i may tell you man we so strong and mighty when i'm going to tell you what didn't kill us made us stronger one thing you don't want us to do you don't want us to go to the other side i'm trying to tell you man trust me i know because we got that dog in us man we got that fire in us but we use that dog and that fire in us for the right reasons. And while people, hey man, I was in secret competition, they use that dog in them and that fire in them for the wrong reason. Let me tell you how this shit works. It's not the fact that people don't got that dog in them and they got that fire in them. Or they got that dog in them. They got that fire in them. They just use it for the wrong reasons. A lot of people use that dog in them and that fire in them just to come against you. 
a lot of people use that dog and that fire in them, hey man, just to pull you down. A lot of people got that dog in them and they got that fire in them, amen. They will, they will use that to throw their insecurities on you. To try to destroy you. To try to belittle you. But when you chosen, we, we use that dog and that fire in us for the right reasons. We use that dog and that fire in us, amen, to make it to the next level. We use that dog in us and that fire in us, amen, amen, to get to this paper. We use that dog in us and that fire in us to motivate these old freaking karmics out here. And people just don't get it. They just don't get it. They don't realize who is in front of them. They don't realize that guess what? You are just one prayer away from them reaching their destiny. They don't even realize it. Because they are too busy going against you. They're too busy being envious of you. They're too busy praying on your downfall. They're too busy not complimenting you, not giving you credit when credit is really, really due. And guess what? It'll be a little bit too late. You trying to join me and join join the squad? Guess what? You should have been trying to join the squad a long time ago when I first told you. I used to tell my family, hey, man, let's do this. Let's come with this kind of business. Let's do that. And God trying to show me, hey, man, guess what? I'm getting ready to show you why you shouldn't even go business with these people. People don't even know. But they did know that, guess what? I, I presented the business to them. Trust me, I did. I, the brains and the family, they, they, they didn't even know it. Well, you got to be very careful who you underestimate. You got to be very careful who you turn your back on. You got to be very careful who you betray out here. You got to be very careful because you never know who's who. We really are earth angels out here, man. We really sent by God. And people will be envious of that because everything you touch turn into gold. People will be envious of that. Because everything you pray for be answered. Oh, they'd be envious of that. Because God will really give you the desires of your heart, baby. I'm trying to tell you what's going on. Stay away from these people that envy you. I'm trying to tell you, envy, envy is very, very, very deadly. I see a lot of people lost their lives because of somebody else that was so very envious of them. People want your life so bad, it's ridiculous. People want your identity so bad, it's just straight out ridiculous. Come on, who I'm talking to. So when people really went against you in the first time, when they really try to be in secret competition with, with you the first time, don't you dare let these people join your squad. Don't you be afraid to put in the comments below and say, hey man, you stay on the other side. You figure your shit out yourself. You ain't able to sit at my table. Don't you be afraid to put in the, put in the comments below and say, you ain't able to sit at my table. Come on, who I'm talking to. And they realize if they can't join you, they will try to destroy you. But no weapon that is formed against you shall be able to prosper. Every tongue that rises up against you shall be condemned in the mighty matchless name of Jesus. Let me tell you something. Got to be careful when people try to destroy you. You got to be careful when people will try to try to try to plot and plan against you. You got to be careful when people coming at you foul and you ain't did nothing wrong to nobody. But I'm here to tell you right now, if you resist the devil, he going to flee from you. If you stay in your prayer closet, that devil going to flee from you. If you could just stay out the way, that devil ain't going to come nigh to you. Understand what I'm getting ready to say right now. They hate you because they ain't you. They dislike you because guess what? They not like you. Come on, who I'm talking to. You got to realize that you got the oil that destroys every single yoke. 
You got to realize that you are blessed when you walk in. You blessed when you walk outside that goddamn door. But it don't even matter what people say about you behind your back. You got to know that who you belong to. You got to know that you are protected. You got to know that guess what? God got your back. God will never leave you. No, he will forsake you. God ain't going to have you going out like that. God going to give you knowledge, wisdom, understanding. And guess what God was telling me? God said, don't you go back. God said, make this your, your, your last night over here. God said, make this your last time come up over here. Because guess what? Everybody can't go with you. God said, make this your last time trying to save everybody, trying to help everybody. God said, make this last your last night drive out. Because let me tell you something. God said, eyes have not seen, nor ears haven't heard the plans that I have in store for you. And God said, you think they're envious of you now? And this is just the beginning? Just imagine when I raise you to a whole nother level. God said, you think they hate you right now? And this is just the beginning? And what do I say? Everybody acting funny style. Everybody coming with this weird ass energy. Everybody want to throw their insecurities, throw their projections on me. I'm sick of this shit, man. I'm good for life. You won't ever see me again. If you ever do see me again, I'm chucking up the deuces. Because let me tell you something. I'm going for what God got for me. And let me tell you something. If you stay around too long, if you hang around too long, I promise you the devil is waiting. He plotting and he planning to destroy you. Trust me when I tell you. I don't got time anymore. Because I'll be damned to let anybody destroy what me and God put together. You got to realize, children, that while people try to join you, you got to learn how to give them the, the, the hand. Give them the be gone. I'm good. Talk to the hand. Because guess what? I already know you jealous because I'm still standing. Don't you be afraid to put a couple of say, talk to the hand. Because I already know you still jealous of me because I'm still standing. Talk to the hand. Come on, talk to me. You can't join me because you ain't like me. You can't join me because you don't pray like me. You can't join me because you ain't got no respect like me. You can't join me because you ain't gifted like me. You can't join me because you ain't talented like me. You can't join me because you don't, hey man, you don't press like me. You ain't got that dog in me like me. You can't join me because let me tell you something. You're not getting ready to get these blessings like me. So that's what people really do. I promise you, once they realize they can't beat you, once they realize there's nothing they can do to destroy you, once they realize there ain't nothing they can do, and, and once they really realize they can't join you, this is when they begin really, really, really mad. A lot of people going through some shit right now. And you got to stay out the way because you ain't going through nothing, children. ones. A lot of people will really project their problems on you, and it seems like the more they go through, the more they take it out on you. And you ain't got nothing to do with it. You just blessed, highly favored, and they fail to realize you went through the same shit as them. But what made you overcome that was your faith. What made you overcome that was your due to them as power. What made you overcome the obstacle is, is your belief in God. And why are these people trying to figure it out? Why are these people still trying to figure out their life? You got to leave people where they at. So people want to still bring up your past You got to leave their ass in the past So people want to throw All their insecurities on you Guess what You got to throw them insecurities back at that devil And say I am more than a conqueror I am destined for greatness I can do all things through Christ Which give me the strength And they mad because you know why you broke generational curses, man. That's the real reason why they mad at you. That's the real reason why they envious of you, man. Another reason why they envious of you, because guess what? You getting your generation together, baby. You broke the cycle. Don't you be afraid to put a couple of say, I'm the cycle breaker. I'm the generational curse breaker. My kids going to be destined for greatness. My kids going to get God's blessings. My kids going to be the best version of themselves. My kids going to be successful. My kids, hey amen, is going to be the next big thing. You got to realize, children, what generational curses that you just broke. And you think these people going to be happy for you because you broke generational curses? Hell to the no. It all makes sense now. You ain't the only one blessed, chosen ones. Your generation after you is blessed. Your children that's attached to you, your own kids is blessed like you. Do you realize who you are? 
Do you realize how far you have come from? And I will never go back. Because all the things that God has done for me. Well, let me tell you, man, I promise you, you can really feel that judge of spirit on people. Well, let me tell you, man, I, I really have to remove myself as fast as the wind blow. I don't got time to be feeling that shit, man. Well, let me tell you, your Holy Spirit, it boils though. They demons on the inside of them. Them demons is boiling. Every time they lay eyes on you, you trigger them. I'm telling you, you triggering people and you're doing it unintentionally. I'm trying to tell you what's going on. It's your light. That's, that's triggering them demons on the inside of people. So when they see you looking good, they see you, they, they, they know you smelling good. They know you out here getting to this money. They know you the next big thing. They know you successful. And them demons gonna just be boiling up in them, boiling up. That devil waiting for you to catch you slipping. He waiting for you to get pissy drunk. He waiting for you to do the things that they are doing. He waiting for you, amen, to stoop down to their level. Oh, he's waiting on you. But when you be humble, amen, when you be wise as a serpent and harmless as a dove, that, that none of the devil can do to destroy you. There are none of these people can do to destroy you. I don't give a damn who it is of you. You got to learn how to move in silence. But let me tell you, silence is the most powerful weapon God has ever gave man to this day. And you got to realize when you move in silence, guess what? The devil don't know your next move. When you move in silence, the devil don't even know how to attack you. When you move in silence, guess what? The devil, guess what? He don't even know how to come at you. Because you holding your peace. You letting the Lord fight your battles. And I promise you, the minute you leave these people presence, that's like a victory. I felt so victorious leaving these people presence because I already know, guess what? The spirits these people carrying on them. I already know these people want to see me fail. I already know these people big mad that I'm out here winning. I already know it. And the only reason why they mad because guess what? They not own what I'm on. People will really be envious of you because you out here doing good. And it's sad because it's like the same thing God did for me, he can do for you. But guess what? You got envy in your heart. You think God going to bless you and you got envy in your heart? You think God going to bless you like me and you jealous of everybody? You think God going to bless you like he blessed me? Amen. If you constantly, amen, just being disrespectful, you constantly, amen, just doing the worldly things. You constantly out here, amen, talking about everybody named mama. You think God going to bless you like he blessed me? What part you don't understand, children, that they are just straight envious of you. This is going to be a really great 4th of July. I'm getting ready to enjoy every rib, every side of pork and beans, every potato salad, all by myself. And as long as I got King Jesus, mm, I don't need nobody else, baby. I feel to realize, man, when you around certain energies, negative spirits, demonic spirits, man, those spirits will jump on you, man. And you wonder why when you leave people's presence, you don't even feel the same. Now you got to go home and take a spiritual bath. Now you got to go home and take a spiritual shower. You got to go home and wash and, and, and ask God to wash you in his blood. Cleanse your spirit. Cleanse your mind. Because people done rubbed you the wrong way. And all you did was try to be the light surrounded by darkness. All you try to do is help people, push people, support people, pray for people. People don't give a damn. Because you're doing so much better than them. They don't give a damn. Because guess what? You are doing something that they are never, they're, they're, they will be never able to do in their lives. You are here achieving goals. You are here, uh, you are here reaching milestones, man. You are here getting to this paper. People ain't on what you own. So when you go around certain people who ain't on what you own, I promise you, man, they're going to be envious of you. You got to be very careful because guess what? People will really fake it real good. Laugh with you, talk with you. But it seems like every time they go through something, they project their problems on you. That's when you know people are envious of you. Why are you projecting your problems on me, my, my brother? I ain't did shit to you. You got yourself in that situation. So guess what? You're going to have to get yourself up out of that. Motherfuckers want to project their insecurities and their problems on me. Guess what? I made it out the mud. I licked my own wounds. I bounced back. The comeback is bigger than the setback. That's another reason why people are envious of you, children, because your comeback is way bigger than the setback. A lot of people envious of you because guess what, baby? You the problem solver. They envious of you because guess what? You really, I'm talking about, man, you really out here doing the damn thing. This is what makes people envious of you. 
the fact that you are becoming the next big thing, the fact that you are becoming great, the fact that you are so successful, the fact that you are just so beautifully and wonderfully and fearfully made in the likeness and image of God, that's what makes people envious of you. But you call yourself trying to be cool. Oh, this is family. This is my friend. Fuck these people, man. God got to change these people. God got to help these people. God got to push these people. You did all the pushing you can do. Don't you be afraid to put in a couple blow and say, I did all the pushing I can do. I done did all the praying I can do. I done did all the loving I can do. I done did all the giving I can do. I can't do it no more. And once they see you, guess what? They see you helping them. But when you helping them, you humble. Come on, who I'm talking to. When you go around them, you so humble. And that makes the devil mad. You going around people and you looking good, smelling good. You getting to this money. You getting to this paper. Come on, who I'm talking to. Glory be to God. You smiling. Hey, man, you shining bright like a diamond. And you be surprised, man. That makes the devil mad at you. Now they got to swallow every five words that they said against you. But guess what they're going to try to do? They're going to try to project their insecurities on you. Brother, just because you ain't doing nothing with your life, don't throw that shit over here and try to make it seem like, hey, man, I'm not doing nothing with my life. See, that's what people do when they end with you. They will throw shade on your success. They would, they would really, like, overlook the things that you're doing now and try to, like, hey, man, try to, like, switch it up with the things that you, you should have been doing in the past. Let me tell you something, brother. If I wanted to go to the NBA, I would have been there, brother, if I had the right support. Come on, who I'm talking to? A lot of people telling you, you should have been this, you should have been that. They envious of you, and they know what you're doing now. Come on. But when you go to, around people, you motivate people, you pray for people. Hey, man, God got a call in your life. Hey, man, I know you're going to do great and mighty things. You ain't jealous of people. Guess what? People don't give a damn about that. They don't got no respect for you. They don't give a damn about your kind words. Come on, who I'm talking to. So let me tell you something. If I have the right support, maybe I will be in the NBA. If my auntie never tried to force me to the fucking army, maybe I will be in the NBA right now. But that wasn't God's plans over my life. And just because I'm not going to the NBA, guess what? Don't make it seem like my son ain't going. My son will be in the NBA. Mark my words. And I'm going to do everything in my power to get him there. Because guess what? My son is destined for greatness. That's right. Jalen McHale Howard, you are destined for greatness. Let me tell you, man, I love my son. Let me tell you, man, my son reminds me so much of me, man. When I was training him two days ago for two hours straight, man, it brought tears to my eyes. <sighs> Let me tell you, man. My son is gifted, he's talented, man, and I will never give up on my son. Let me tell you, man, I seen so many, I seen so many different moves that he was doing was like me. The way he shoot is like me, the way he dribble like me. Son, I got you. Because let me tell you something, man, while people projecting their insecurities on me, telling me I should have been this, I should have been that, they don't even know. As, as a matter of fact, they knew the life I had. They knew I didn't have the support like that. So why you coming at me with that bullshit That lets me know you fucking envious of me Stay the hell away from me man Because people would know exactly all about your life This won't make people envious of you They know everything about you man And they hate the fact that guess what You winning now they hate that you doing it now. They hate that you overcame every obstacle. You overcame every circumstance. You done broke every generation of freaking curse that was holding you bound. They hate that shit. But don't you be afraid to put in the comment below and say, look at me now. I'm getting paper. Look at me now. I may have been set back then, but look at me now. Don't you be afraid to put in the comments below and say, look at me now. I'm getting paper. Look at me now. I'm destined for greatness. Look at me now. I'm going higher. Look at me now. I'm a child of God. Look at me now. I'm fresh in a motherfucker. So you got to realize, chosen ones, don't you ever fucking go back. Don't you ever allow these motherfuckers to pull up a chair to your table because they not able. Don't you ever in your life 
Welcome these people back into your life and welcome these people back into your space because they done showed you too many times on how they feel about you. God said, this is the last fucking time you coming over here. Because let me tell you something, no matter what you do for people, no matter how hard you pray for people, some people are not going to just change like that. You got to let God change them. You got to let God work on them and, and move on their lives. You got to let God do it because guess what? We ain't more powerful than God. He's the almighty God. And if he changed me, oh, he can change you, brother. Come on. And this is why you got to learn how to stay out the way. You got to learn how to stay prayed up. You got to learn how to stay in the fear and that mission of God. You got to learn how to put that whole armor of God so you can withstand every fiery dart that's coming from the devil. Why well, I'm going to tell you them devil was throwing them darts. Why well, I'm going to tell you the devil really tried to discourage me last night, but it didn't work because guess what? I felt encouraged on that drive home. Let me tell you something, man. When the devil was discouraging me, I didn't even say that. I, I was humble, but I was praying in my spirit. I said, okay, he over there doing this weird shit again. The same shit he did in the past. Oh, you want to throw these insecurities? on me or you should be in the lead or you should be driving there yeah, you should be driving that no but you see what i'm driving you see how i'm living you see how i'm preaching you see how i'm elevating you see how i'm flourishing you see this but you just don't want to admit it but guess what? I don't care if you don't admit it. I don't care if you acknowledge me or not. Let me tell you something. It's the anointing that's doing the talking. It's the anointing that's doing the walking. It's the anointing, amen, that, that's, that's doing all the shining. Let me tell you something, Charles. You don't owe nobody an explanation. You don't owe nobody no, 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 no whole conversation. You don't owe nobody no glory be to God, no, no link up and let's meet up here. You got to keep on going. Because if they hating on you now, and this is just the beginning. What makes you think they're not going to hate on you when God really take you to a whole nother level? When God, amen, give you a better car. When God give you a better home. When God give you a better career. When God give you, amen, when God give you a better wife, a better husband. When God give you everything just better. Don't you be afraid to put in comment below and say, Lord, I'm waiting for better. Lord, I want better. Lord, I deserve better. And you over here telling these people, man, hey, it will get better. And while you pulling up to people, they think you're going to laugh at them. They think you're going to talk about their little situation. They think, hey, man, you're going to just, hey, man, throw all kind of fiery darts at them. But they, they feel to realize we belong to God. We come in peace. We come praying for you. We come in elevating and motivating you. You're not even knowing. The minute you shake my hand, brother, God getting ready to pull you out of that storm. People not even knowing. The minute you hug me, guess what God getting ready to do? He getting ready to wipe out every uh, bad thing that people did to these people just by you hugging them. Children. The minute people hug you, God getting ready to fill them up with unconditional love. The minute you kiss people, guess what? They getting ready to get that kiss from God. You got to realize how powerful you are. But you can't save everybody. Because everybody can't be safe. You can't help everybody. Because guess what? Everybody don't want to be helped. Everybody just need enough help. So they so the minute you turn around after you didn't help them, they're gonna bite you in the ass. The minute you help them and you turn your back, they're gonna stab you in your back, they're gonna betray you. Some people just need enough energy. They need enough of your power, they need enough of your energy, they need enough of your love to get them back on their feet. And then once they back on their feet, they gonna really start trying to destroy you, hate you, be envious of you, jealous of you, thinking that, that guess what? You ain't did nothing for them. This is how people would do it. And the whole time you was the one that helped them. The whole time you was the one, I mean, that was praying for them. The whole time you was the one that was pushing them towards greatness. But you think they're going to give you the credit? Hell to the no. You think they're going to back you up? You think they're going to have your back when, you, when shit hit the fan? Hell to the no. That's why you got to keep doing what's best for you. Self-preservation is always first. I'd rather give people a good word of encouragement and prayer than to give people my blessings to be 100 with you. I'm starting to realize some things. Let me tell you something, children. What God got for you is only going to be for you. Stop giving everybody your blessings. Stop giving everybody money. Stop trying to donate to everybody and help everybody. You give people prayer. You pray for people. You motivate people and pray these demons out of people. That's what you need to start giving people. Instead of giving people the shirts off your back and showing people what God doing for you, you show them the power of prayer. You show them that anointing. You show them that if God did it for me, he can do it for you. Stop giving people your, 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 your blessings that God has given you. Stop doing that. Because people are going to be envious of you because you know why? They can't get that.
And the only reason why they can't get those blessings is because guess what? The Bible says, blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. So if God says, blessed are the pure in heart, and you know the people ain't got no pure in heart, they're not going to see God. They're on their way to the lake of fire. You'd be surprised people have been living for so long, and guess what? They've been carrying jealous, jealous spirits on them, envious spirits on them. They've been living so long, and they've been doing people for so long, and you expect people to go to this heaven with you. You expect people, amen, to explore this heaven on earth with you. The devil is a lie and the truth ain't in him. The only reason why you get in heaven on earth, Cholons, is because guess what? You got heaven waiting in store for you. Only reason why you get in heaven on earth is because guess what? You got a pure and righteous heart on you. Others I might get ready to say, only reason why you experience in heaven on earth is because guess what? You got a good and contrite heart. And why these people is full of strife. Listen to me. They heart is filled with strife. They are, they operate in the after of confusion. Man, they will project their problems on you in a heartbeat. And don't and don't be around them when they're doing good. They really gonna shit on you. Oh, don't be around them, man, man when, they, when they think they're doing better than you. Oh, they gonna really dog your ass out. And the only reason why they can't do it now is because they're struggling. The only reason they can't do all that shit now is because guess what? They're going through it. They got nothing to say. But no weapon that is formed against you shall be able to prosper. It will not work in the name of Jesus. I, I, I pray after this video, I declare and I decree after this video that God will continue to allow you to press. That God will give you the strength to press. When you see the enemy, God will give you the strength to move around them. Glory be to God. Because let me tell you something. You got what it takes to make it to the next level. And don't you forget what God got for you, baby. It's only going to be for you. So, devil, while you think you had me last night, I got away. While you think you trying to discourage me last night, let me tell you something. You ain't did nothing but encourage me. And this is why you got to encourage yourself, Chones, because you're going to have people that's closest to you. They're going to really try to discourage you. Don't you be afraid to put it below and say, I need to encourage myself in the Lord. I need to motiv motivate myself in the Lord. I need to be inspired, amen, by people who is of God. Let me tell you something, children. The devil really tried to discourage me last night by jumping inside of people to attack me. But let me tell you something, devil. That greater is he that is in me than he that is of this world. Let me tell you something, devil. While you think you discourage me, you ain't doing nothing but stir up the fuel in me. Don't you be afraid to put in the coming blow and say, devil, you ain't doing nothing but stirring up the fuel in me. And it feel like fire. Shut up in my bones. How many of you know you got the Holy Ghost fire in you? How many know that the fire inside you burns brighter than the fire that's around you? Let me tell you something. They envious of you because guess what, baby? You went through the fiery furnace and you came out burnt. They envious of you because you went through the storm and you came out dry. Can I get a witness up in here? They envious of you because guess what, baby? You got greatness in you, baby. And don't forget, man, if they can't beat you, they gonna try to join you. And if they can't try to join you, if they know they can't join you, they will try to destroy you. But one thing you gotta know, man, one thing you gotta believe, that they just not like you. They will never be you. Because let me tell you something, God is, is the one who's working inside of you. God is the one who's always with you. God is the one who's always blessing you. God is the one who's always keeping you. God is the, always the one who's protecting you. God is the, always the one that's walking beside you. So you enjoy this 4th of July. And know that, guess what, baby? You can do all things through Christ, which give you the strength, baby, regardless of how many people coming against you. And don't you forget, if you need a friend, you already know you got a friend in me. If you need prayer, if you need motivation and inspiration, you got the greatest motivational speaker in the whole wide world, your boy. We the chosen.